Hi, I'm Dr. Adam Fields. I'm so glad you're here. We're talking about eustachian tube dysfunction. I've been getting calls and emails. I've been getting people flying in to get treated, people driving great distances, and I want to give you some more tools. I want to give you some tools that you can use at home, and also I want to share with you what I do in my office if that if need be. Um, so, you know, I've been getting questions. Let's go over some of them. I got it. Wendy sent me a beautiful email. Oh my gosh, she said, I came across some of your helpful YouTube videos as I was searching out of sheer frustration, and I know that's a lot of you out there. Your ears are going through it. You're trying to accommodate to them. You're trying, you go up into altitude and they're getting tight. My ear has been plugged for 18 months after a bad infection. That sounds dire, but I've had some people come into my office after 30 years of a plugged ear and get unplugged. Nothing has relieved it and the ENT put, uh, put a tube in a diagnostic tool. He said it would provide instant relief and it hasn't worked. It has been a week and I am miserable. My ear is plugged, there's a dull ache, and I feel like I'm in an echo chamber, and I can hear my heart beating in my ear. I went back, and they asked if, if I wanted it removed. I had no idea what to say, and they advised me to wait another week. I'm getting no relief at all. They told me next steps are different drugs. A lot of you are here right now because you don't want drugs. I don't want to try a bunch of drugs and they are offering no other ideas. I have to find some relief. I realize that you're in California and I have no need and you have no need to respond to me, but I'm feeling quite desperate. With our medical system, it took me nine months to see an ENT and getting another opinion, especially during COVID, will be next to impossible. I'm wondering if you would be able to give me any thoughts or guidance. So this is it. I, I, I want to give you guys guidance. Number one, um, one of the things that I do that is just amazing, the, the, the Muncie technique. So in the, in here, this is a, a schematic here. This is the opening for your eustachian tube right here. It goes from your middle ear right to here. A lot of you have tight throats. A lot of you have mucus and inflammation that's gone that way for a long period of time. That mucus can build up on the outside of your eustachian tube. It can get hardened even. It can even grow micro blood vessels and coat the outside of this thing and inhibit that flow, that emptying, right? So one of the things I do is called the Muncie technique and I go into the mouth and I massage there and I, it, it, it can be a number of days to have it done, but we get it to free up. And, and people, oh, when they're doing it, sometimes they can hear a little sound in there, and it's wonderful. The first thing I do before, though, doing this, I make sure people are on a low inflammation diet. And one of those things are I get rid of gluten, sugar, and dairy. You guys, if you're eating a bunch of sugar and you're eating a bunch of pasta and bread and things like that, and you want to get well in those years, it's going to be tough. I got to let, this is what we call, this isn't a sickness or a problem, this is called a health opportunity, right? This is your body knocking on the door going, I gotta get healthier, please help me. And one of those things is low inflammation diet. Get rid of the sugar, it's evil. Um, also to decrease that inflammation, I have people do probiotics. Um, I put them on a very specific plan. I use a company called Microbiome Labs. They have, uh, go on my website, check it out. It's very good. If you want information on it, I can help you. Um, they're spores because normal probiotics, they don't make it through the 1.5 to 3.5 pH of the stomach and populate in the small and large intestines where they're supposed to. They actually, it gets, they get killed, right? And these are spores. They're naturally encapsulated. They get past that gut and they open up with something called quorum sensing and they start doing their things. They're regulators. They increase the good, decrease the bad and help balance things out. So anyway, low inflammation diet, the Muncie technique, these are, impar these are really good techniques. I feel my ears are filled with fluid whenever I drink something cold. I also feel clicks and often in my ears, mostly difficult to sleep at night, getting pressure like pain in my ears. Sometimes I also feel my ears clogged. Are these symptoms of ears clogged? Sounds like they're symptoms of ear clogged to me. However, why, why is that clogging happening? Sometimes the mucosal linings can be inflamed and start and close that thing down. So besides those two things that I just gave you, the Muncie and the low inflammation diet, regular chiropractic care, 
the nerves that go to the eustachian tubes to stimulate muscles like the tensor villi palatini muscle, that wave-like contraction that empties out the eustachian tubes. So chiropractic care or corrective care like I do is very good. The Pettibon technique, also the chiropractic biophysics technique, these are, these are the, what I consider very, very high-end chiropractic care. What else can you do? Um, I like something called oil pulling. Um, I found some results with that. Um, these are things I often I'll have people do them like they're going to fly in. I'll say, okay, do these things. Do the get on low inflammation diet, get on the oil pulling, some other things before you come, so you can maybe not have to take the trip. The oil pulling, get a heaping tablespoon of coconut oil, put it in your mouth, and just swish it around. Um, go take a walk or something, so you don't have to be around people and talk because you won't be able to talk. And what you'll find is after about 15 minutes, you'll feel like this clump of mucus come down in the back of the throat. And you'll have to swallow it because it's way back there. But just swallow it. And then once you get to the 20 minutes, spit the oil out, wash your mouth out. That oil is now just full of gunk. And oftentimes, or sometimes actually, you can get some results that way also. So what else? Um, I, I do something called endonasal cranial adjusting in my office. A lot of people have asked me about it. Um, the skull bones can, can go out of alignment. There are 22 bones that fit together like pieces in a jigsaw puzzle. And, you know, it could be boxing. It could be a punch. It could be dehydration, hunching. These skull bones can actually lose that perfect alignment. And that can affect... Um, the, the back of the throat, it can affect the nose, it can affect fluid flow dynamics. And I actually do a technique where I put a balloon in the nose with a, with a toothpick and go into certain parts of the nose and actually adjust those skull bones. And, um, and I've, I've had a lot of people's ears open up that way also, or even a combination of the two. I also use laser in the office, uh, which can decrease inflammation there, help people with um, I've had great results with tinnitus. There's something else I want to share with you. Um, I, one of the, the ways that I found out about a lot of this stuff is I actually redid a couple of houses and was living there because we couldn't afford to go and live somewhere else while we were redoing the houses. And I got some fungus in my nose and I went to so many different places. Um, I did the diet thing, I did my cranial adjustments, I did as much as I could and I still had this problem. And I, I went to a, a friend of mine who's a dentist, and I went to also another one who's a naturopath that used ozone. And ozone is very toxic, it's O3, right? You don't wanna breathe this stuff in. But if you can take a big breath in, it's called an ozone nasal insufflation. You take a big breath in, and you put about 40 ml into your nose, and you hold it for about 30 seconds, and it burns if you've got fungus up there, and then you, breathe out of your nose, run away from that area because you don't want to inhale it into your lungs. And I had this burning, I did it three days, and this, after years of fungus in my nose, um, zero sugar diet, etc., this thing opened up and has been clear and absolutely wonderful. So I, I recommend that to you. I recommend that to a lot of people. A lot of you guys, I mean, these, I'm, there's more questions here and there's more people that have called, texted, you name it, they're getting a hold of me. Um, and these are wonderful things that are going to help you. I like the laser, I like the oil pulling, the ozone, the endonasal cranial adjusting, the low inflammation diet is a must, and the Muncie technique. So find someone in your area that does this, uh, these things or just start doing them one at a time and continue with the exercises. We've got to get the back of that throat opened up. We've got a massage out here. Uh, we're going to be coming out with some more videos, one that's specifically for tinnitus or tinnitus, whichever you like to say, tomato, tomato. But um, I'm with you. I'm with you on this. I know this is just challenging. I've had desperate people, oh, my ears, oh, I'm ringing, that kind of thing. Um, but I think these are some really good tools that you can start to use. Thank you for tuning in. If you like this stuff, please post it on social media. Tell your story. People need to hear it because there's more people suffering out there. And my goal is for us not to need some healthcare system. It, my goal is for us to be able to be more and more self-sustained, to take care of ourselves, to be the captain of our ship, 
to really take a hold of our health. Go get them.